If you're watching BBC News, let's turn now to the fallout of the massive document leak in the United States. The files, some marked top secret, are circulating on social media. US officials say it's still not clear who's behind it. And for the first time since the leak, we've heard from the US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. Now, I can't say much more while the Justice Department's investigation is ongoing, but we take this very seriously, and we will continue to investigate and, and turn over every rock until we find the source of this and the extent of it. Let's go live now to Kiev and our correspondent, Hugo Beshega. And Hugo, some of the detail in the documents directly relates to Ukraine and the conflict there, and specifically Ukraine's military capabilities. What were the main points that have caused concern? Yeah, Ben, I think the U.S. is now in damage control mode following those leaks, uh, the largest leaks of uh, classified documents uh, in many years. And I think we heard from the U.S. Uh, Defense Secretary uh, expressing confidence that uh, the Ukrainians can achieve uh, success in this counteroffensive. And I think this was reaction, perhaps, to uh, one of the leaks reported yesterday by the Washington Post, uh, saying that earlier this year, U.S. officials had... Uh, Question the ability of the Ukrainians to make significant gains in a counteroffensive. We know that the Ukrainians are planning an offensive to try to take back territory that's now under Russian occupation. And uh, they, I, I think one of the challenges uh, mentioned uh, was uh, problems with ammunition, also uh, the numbers of Ukrainian troops. So I think. Um, this uh, shows uh, the difference between what is being said publicly and what is being discussed behind the scenes, uh, especially in the U.S., which has been uh, Ukraine's main ally in this war. So I think it's, this uh, puts pressure on the Ukrainian authorities ahead of this uh, counteroffensive. And I think there was a second uh, important uh, leak, and uh, this was you know, from documents that have been reviewed by the BBC showing that a number of Western countries had deployed uh, special forces here to Ukraine. And this has been the subject of some speculation for quite some time. And uh, it seems that uh, these documents confirm uh, this uh, information. And uh, this is likely to be seized by uh, Moscow uh, because uh, Russian officials have been saying that they're fighting not only Ukrainian forces here, but also uh, NATO. And uh, we had some reaction from the um, uh, British uh, Ministry of Defense because one of those countries was the UK and uh, the reaction was that there were some inaccuracies in these documents that have been leaked. What is interesting here is that American officials are not disputing the authenticity of these uh, documents uh, that have been leaked and I think for American officials investigating uh, these leaks two key questions remain. Uh, who is behind those leaks and why? Okay. Uh, Hugo, thank you very much for the moment. Hugo Vashega there for us, our correspondent in Kyiv.